What can your real estate really pay for? Well, in my life, real estate pays for this really nice house in the mountains. It pays for my travel. It also pays for my car. And I'll never forget when my first mentor showed me how real estate could pay for my car. Today, I wanna to show you the exact same thing because real estate can do that and a whole lot more. So check it out, I'm with my very first mentor and we're having this dialogue about why real estate. And I had driven up to his house, he had this brand new, like, I don't even know how to say it in trucking terms, but it was like a super mega cab truck with like eight wheels and it was really big and it was to pull his boat and his houseboat and all of his other really nice things. And I remember pulling up and I was like, wow, John, is that a new truck? He's like, yeah, it's a new truck. And I'm like, wow, that's really nice. He's like, yeah, I just did a deal and my house paid for it. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? And I had him actually walk me through this whole scenario of how he gets real estate to pay for his house and for his life. At that time, real estate paid for nothing in my world. I hadn't even bought my very first property, but you know what it did? It inspired me and it has totally changed the trajectory of my life. That might happen for you right now. You see, in my world, I don't know what you drive, but I'm driving a BMW i8. It's their concept car. I really, really like it. They're actually just coming out with a Roadster convertible portion that, I don't know, convertibles just get me really excited. I like that, right? But that car costs a couple thousand dollars a month. And my real estate is paying for all that. Well, how does that actually work? I'm gonna break it down for you. When you buy a house, the house is valued at something. Let's say that you purchase this house, it's valued at $200,000. Let's say that you purchase it for $180,000. But more importantly, you buy it because it's in an area that has a really great cash flow situation. Uh, this house, let's say that it has a mortgage of $1,200 a month, but you found a really neat niche that you're exploiting and you're actually renting it for $1,700 a month. And that means that you're getting a $500 a month cash flow. Now I've had many homes and have many homes that have a cash flow that high. Some of my entry level homes pay me $200 a month or $300 a month. Sometimes in my growth markets, I'm hitting more like you know, two and 300, but when I go into my cash flow markets, we can hit four, five, sometimes $600 a month cash flow. And you know, five, $600 is enough to pay for quite a bit. In this case, this $500 a month cash flow, it's like, why did I buy this house? Well, number one, it's an appreciating asset, which means I appreciate it. Actually, the market appreciate it and it appreciates over time, it goes up in value. A lot of the real estate, you're, you might be in a market that grows at 6% per annum, might go at 3% per annum. It'll go up and down and have highs and lows, but below the entry, below the, the median, your real estate is going to be relatively smooth cruising and it's gonna go up over time. So you buy it because number one, it appreciates. Number two, you can buy it with some equity. It's like buying stocks with a discount or buying something at a discount. That's always really cool. And number three, it has a cash flow which means that it actually pays you. So right now you buy this house and my mentor basically said, well, Chris, I buy this house so it can buy my car. Most people go to job, work job, get paid from job, spend money from job and have nothing to show. And the thing they bought gets consumed and gets whittled away. Here you're buying an appreciating asset and that's the really big thing. There's no room for the ET asset. We'll put it over here. Um, this house is an asset and the asset produces a cash flow and it appreciates and it goes up in value and you can buy it with equity and you can, anyway, this is a really cool thing. Most, I didn't know this. It's like, I just like, no, you just save up money and buy a car. And, and John said, don't do that. You buy an asset and let the asset buy the car. So now my assets are buying me all sorts of things and assets can buy you all sorts of things. You just got to figure out how to buy the right kind of real estate and start living off of that cash flow. You know, old school budgeting is all about this idea of, oh, I gotta save up my money and then I'm gonna spend it strategically. But all you're doing is, it's like paying off a house, it's stupid. Listen to the follow-up on that. I'm going to pay off my bank account of bricks because when you pay it off, you're buying bricks and you're buying steel and you're buying nails and you're buying drywall, you're buying carpet, you're buying paint, you're buying a roof. But then at some point you get to retirement and you don't have enough money and then what do you gotta do? 
Now you gotta spend and basically sell and get rid of and delete the asset. It's because your house wasn't really an asset. It was a liability. It's like buying a car and the moment you drive it off the lot, it goes down several thousand dollars in, in value. So my mentor really taught me, if you want nicer things in life, buy assets that buy them for you. And that's really what we're talking about here, buying an asset that can do that for you. As far as how you do that, well, that part's easy if they have the right training and if you're hungry. Not everyone is hungry that we're willing to actually act. Do what I do takes courage, or at least once upon a time took courage because I didn't have personal experience, but then it got easier because I learned what I was doing. You need a system and you need a mentor. If you have a system and you have a mentor, you can learn how to buy assets the right way so that they can end up helping you pay for your liabilities in life. Friends, I hope that answered your question. Last thing I wanna say is, um, my car, if it's $2,000 a month and I'm, and I'm getting $400 a month cash flows, how many times does 400 go into $2,000? One, two, three, four, five. So if I want a nice car, I might need five houses to pay for it. If I want a nice house, that's the question my wife and I asked ourselves. We're like, okay, what do we really want? This was years ago when we had just bought our second home. We had this real cash flow. We were living for free. My wife and I decided that we would be rich if we had $10,000 a month coming in without needing a job. Like it was the biggest number that I could conceive of. It was so massive. And 25 homes later, had $12,000 a month residual income, quit my job, my house was paid for, my car was paid for, everything was paid for because I got it all residualized and I figured out how to do the math. So now in life when I want something, I don't say how much money does it cost? I say, how many houses do I need to do? And those houses don't even have to require your money or your credit. And if you want to learn how to do that, then go to the link in the description below and talk to a member of my team, get a free consultation and say, hey, I want to create wealth and make money like Chris does in real estate. I want Chris as my mentor. I want to join his team. What do I got to do? They'll break it all down for you and I'll look forward to working with you, seeing you at my live events and helping you create wealth in your life so that Real estate can pay for your cars, your houses, your travel, or frankly, everything that, create, that creates greater happiness, joy, and fulfillment in your life.